And welcome everyone to the MyMac.com podcast. This is the first one after our 900th show, which makes it 901. That's kind of how numbering works. Uh, Apple, speaking of numbering, Apple just released their Q3 earnings for 2022. And while the company met expectations, that's about the long and short of it. Mac sales in particular were down about 20% year over year. And the biggest problem seems to be supply constraints and a lot of China's capacity out due to lockdowns enforced by the government. Most other companies, however, were in the same boat with HP down about 27%. I think they were all pretty much down. And um, Gaz is, is still on walkabouts, and I am joined this week. See if I can do this. Oh, that was so smooth. I am joined this week by Mr. Carl Madden of the Mac and Forth podcast. Hello, Carl. How are oi, you? Oi, oi, how, how are you, sir? I'm very well. Thank you very much. So you don't have COVID. I've had Not COVID yet. twice already. I have okay. been very, very lucky. Um, I haven't had COVID. <laughs> However, uh, I I did just have a, a stint in the hospital, <laughs> which was not a whole lot of fun. Um, basically, I had, I think, did I already tell you about this? I had cellulitis in my right leg, and it, it puffed up like twice as big as it normally is and was all red and splotchy, and, and oh, nice. it was... Yeah, it was actually my wife was like, looked at my leg and she was like, you know, you got 102 fever, a red splotchy swollen leg. And I, I think we should probably go to the hospital to which I was like, oh, yeah, fine. I'll go. <laughs> Bam. So ended up in the hospital for a week and, and got all kinds of medications. And, and also when I got out and that's all I'll say about that. But when I got out, I cut my hair. This is the first My Mac oh podcast. My God, he's I not a hippie I've anymore. I am not a hippie anymore. I don't wow. know what happened. Actually, I had actually been thinking about it before I went into the hospital, but being in the hospital cemented it <laughs> because the first time I went to take a shower, they had like a plastic bag on my left hand because that's where the IV was. And it, it was like trying to wash my hair with a brick in one hand. <clears throat> And it was like, well, this this just isn't fun. So I went ahead, I went ahead and cut it. And who knows if I'll grow it long again? You know, it's, it's like my hair and microphones are the two things that I seem to obsess over. Uh, I have a lack of one and too many of the other. So uh, the well, other I got, thing I got that, mine done as well. All this yeah, I know. I see here that. In the UK. It's all gone. Yeah, but you know what? You know what, Carl? Here, here's the thing. Yeah. You have hair on top of your head, and it is quite noticeable. I do not. I take off my hat, <gasps> and it and it's like bald, 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 which is why I wear hats a lot. I was going to make a joke then, but it'd be highly inappropriate, so I went. To probably, it. probably. Um, I went to Mac Stock. That was last weekend, Mac Stock Six, and uh, I was running the video board for Mike Potter. And basically, that meant I was just making sure things were being recorded. And doing transitions between the, the two cameras that he had going. Except I ran into a little problem near the end of the day on both days. I'm on Lack this new... Talent. No, well, that, yeah. Uh, but in front of the camera, there was plenty of talent. It was behind the camera that was the problem. That's what I meant. That's... I'm on this blood pressure medicine, and it's making me really sleepy. Oh, yeah. And so at one point, I'm literally sitting in the chair and I imagine my eyes are open, but nobody's home as you know, compared to other times. Um, so there was like 15, 20 minutes of, and I, I don't remember whose presentation it was where whatever camera that was looking at that presentation, that was the view they got because I was like, <laughs> <sighs> so, but I'm on a different medication now, which I'm sure will be much better. I hope so. I mean, I'm on I'm on blood pressure medication, and I drive for a living. So, <laughs> really, yeah, that's that falling asleep is not a good thing. That's why they put the barriers on the side of the motorway to, <laughs> to wake you, you up. Nudge like, oh, your back. Oh. <laughs>